Welcome. My name is George Pearson, and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos in my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques you'll find in various software programs. Right now I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video though is different. This is part of a new series of longer demonstrations that I'm doing to show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish using a variety of techniques and tools. All of the images I use in these projects are in the public domain and I've included a link to the pictures in the video description in case you want to work along using the same images. Okay, let's move on to the project. In this Photoshop text project, we'll take a look at creating kind of a brushed aluminum or brushed metal effect, a little metallic effect. See what it looks like right here in a finished form. And as you can see, we're going to be using the bevel and emboss and a gradient overlay on this, and then some other little tricks as well. Now the typeface that I'm using is just a big fat blocky text. In this case, it's one called Poplar Standard. And if you don't happen to have that, it's easy to find. Just go onto Google to a search for Poplar font or Poplar Standard font, and you should find it just fine. So there we go. So now create a new look. So file new. Bring up a new file here. There we go. Leave it at my standard default settings in here. Choose OK. Let's fill the background with black. Just like that. And then go to our text. We're going to be putting a gradient into our text so the color doesn't matter. We'll be actually filling this with something else. So having a white text makes it easy to see. And again, I'm working with the Poplar Standard. and just type that in. That's at 72 point on my particular screen here, which is 21 by 1500 for this file. So we're going to resize this, edit, transform scale, and let's just resize it up a bit. And reposition, go back to our text tool, and you'll see how it has actually changed the font size. So even though I used the Edit Transform Resize option, it remains text, so you didn't lose anything on there. Let's put in some of our basic layout here for the actual text itself. So we'll use the layer styles, either the FX button right down below here, or Layer and Layer Style. We'll be doing a bevel and an emboss. Want a chisel hard style on that. and then get just a, a bit of an edge. You can see that edge in there. We want just a little bit. We want it looking like it's, it's still pretty flat. We don't want any softening on this. And a little more here on the depth will make that more contrasty. And that's going to help us out. So you want a little bit more depth. See as I go down on the depth it goes real soft. If I go up on the depth it goes real real dark. So you want not the default which is in here someplace but a little darker than that. A little little more depth on that just to give us more contrast between the bottom and top. Now even though the text is white we do have around the edges here a white lining. On the t contour, let's change our contour to this one right there. It's called ring and that'll give us even more of a metallic look on this. It's like a great great little contouring. You see in there some the reflections happening on that. So it really adds to that metallic look. So that's the gloss contour and set at ring, which is that one right there. I'll just hover for a second. There it is, ring. Okay, now let's put our gradient on this. There's a gradient overlay. By default, it's going to grab the foreground to background gradient. And now I can really begin to see the basic layout here. It has a nice metallic look already. But it's not as far as we want to take this. We want to have that brushed metal look to this and a little bit of bluish tint on that as well. So to do that, we need to have another layer. I'm just going to choose OK here. So you need to make, make that kind of brushed aluminum effect. So let's make a new layer. Put it above our text. There we go. And we're going to fill this layer. If we go up here to Filter, Render, and Fibers. Oh, I need to put something in there to begin with. That's OK. I'll just 
fill it with black. It doesn't matter what you fill it with at this point. We're going to be replacing that. It's just, it just has to have some content in there. So again, it doesn't matter what's in there. Filter and render fibers. If we have black and white, we'll get black and white coloring in here. Now this is normally used, and I normally use this for creating wood patterns. And that's real nice for doing that. You can see here, if I just click on the randomize, we get all kinds of neat wood patterns. But what we want is real thin sharp lines more of a a look that would possibly be you know brushed alone and you can see here as I go back and forth we have all kinds of different effects in here that you can create we also can add in strength and as I change the strength notice as I go to the right side here it gets stiffer and stiffer you know straighter and straighter lines you can then come in and adjust the variance on this I go up here, it gets real kind of dark. And I come down here, it gets pretty light. And right in in here someplace, that's not bad. I'll just choose OK. So we now have this kind of a brushed look on this. To really make this look like it's metal, we want to have our brush at some kind of an angle. You can see it over here. I've actually angled that 45 degrees to the left. So let's angle this around. Edit, Transform, Rotate. I'll just grab the right side here and just angle that over. Just kind of pull it over. And then Edit, Transform, Scale. We'll just stretch this out so that it fits the whole page area. There we go. And we'll just set that in place. So that gives us those streaks. And again, you can see those right in there. They're a bit too hard, but we can soften that down. But first, let's get our color in here. We'll be using the adjustments and hue saturation and color eyes. As I pull this down, you see it begins to color in the white areas and saturation pushes it more towards the gray tones. So I'm going to leave it up here so you can see our colors. And let's pull this over there's our greens in here, it's getting our blues here. I want to find just kind of a nice medium bluish right in here somewhere might be nice. And then pull our saturation down and that brings that more towards those grays. And we can play around with our lightness a bit in here and saturation. We get just, just the right look. It looks kind of like it's metal that has a brushed surface on it, you know, a brushed aluminum surface. Just a little bit of a bluish tint in there. And choose OK. So that's looking real nice. It's not an exact match to that. I, I went even further on that, but I think it's good here for this demonstration. Now I want to have this inside of the text and not outside like this. So I need to convert this to a clipping mask. And that's layer. Create clipping mask and it drops it inside. Now, it doesn't show anywhere because we have that gradient overlay. If I hide that gradient overlay, there is the text. You can see that. So that's the gradient overlay effect in there. We had that just so we can really see what we're doing. So there's the metallic look. We now can come in here and play around with our bevel and emboss settings to get just the effect that you want. We can you know, adjust the amount of reflection in here. See, so this is the reflection of those highlights and shadows. You can adjust our lighting setting here if you want to. So by pushing this around, we can get you know different lighting positions on that. And we'll leave that where it is. You can even change your angle specifically in, in here. And we can also adjust the the depth on this until you have just the right effect. So I think right around here. Notice how when I adjust the depth, it it moves the lighting position around at as well. I want a little bit on the top and a little more shading on the bottom right hand side. So something in there. And then we can play around with the the depth, maybe not going too far on the depth. Kind of like that. We don't want any soft and that just makes everything a little bit, bit fuzzier. You could go up or down on this, but that is basically the look that we want in there. 
a nice little edge. A couple of options up here, we can do an outer bevel, which puts it on the outside, or the inner bevel. Let's just take a look at the outer bevel up here, and we'll adjust the depth, and you can kind of see it in there. It's a little different look. There's the edge. A little hard to see that. Bring it up a bit. There we go. Now you can really see the edge coming in. And we're beginning to get that real nice look of this being cut out of metal. So there's there we go. Outer bevel chisel hard. We've adjusted our depth and size and so forth. Played around with this stuff until we got a look that we like. And I think right about in here is pretty nice. And it's a visual thing. You're going to want to play with these a little bit to get it just where you want it. The look is going to depend partly on the typeface that you select as well. Different typefaces will require slightly different settings to give you the correct metallic look. Okay, last thing I want to do is to put in some highlights into this. We could also do a little you know, a grade, if you want to put a gradient across this to give it more of a, a lit effect, we could do that. But the main thing I want to do here is just put in some highlights on this. I'm going to take the layer 2 here, new layer, and switch our color over here to white. And I'm going to put just a streak, just like that, and then right across the top up here. Just a little bit like that. Not much as you can see. And you can see the effect over here. There it is. We actually have those two streaks. You can see those two streaks in there. Okay, now we need to combine this into our lettering. So we're going to be doing an overlay. Can I hear overlay? And that just overlays it into our lettering just like that. So we have that overlay effect. And the final thing you can do if you want to, you can come in here and you can adjust or modify your coloration on this or put a layer in between. If you want to do an adjustment layer, you can do an adjustment layer to play around with the layering or, or the come in and do some gradient in here. Lot, lots of little variations you can do on this to really give it that metallic look that you're looking for. Let's take a look at doing a gradient. Come in here, gradient tool. And let's go... I think black to clear, maybe black to white. And I'll set this at reflecting. You get this kind of thing happening. And if I go a little bit thinner on that, you know, there's just a real, real thin bit. Overlay that in. And you can see how that comes in and then gives us a darker spot and then lighter towards the edges. And you can adjust the amount in here by pulling it up or down. Now if I come at an angle, it gives me an angle on that line. Again, I'm pulling from the middle out. If I come out further, it's going to soften the whole thing down. So you have that ability to kind of give yourself that metallic looking, you know, different metallic lighting. You can soften that effect by just bringing your opacity down a bit on this. So you don't have quite so much of that gradient happening. But there we go. There is our metallic look. And it looks kind of like it's made out of brushed metal. The real trick here, of course, you know, the Devil and Boss stuff, that's all pretty straightforward. This stuff is pretty straightforward. The real trick is how to use the fibers filter to create this brushed aluminum texture that we used to fill in the letters. Let's now talk about doing a little bit of variation on this. Obviously, we can change the metallic effect by changing this layer here, our gradient layer. You can use different gradients for different effects. We don't have to have that highlight across here. But the main thing I want to talk about is how to change this look into a different look. And we can do that by just changing the effect of this one page right here. If you use different you know, thicknesses of line, you get a different texture feel to it. And we also can change the color values in here. Image adjustments, hue saturation. 
and we can shift the color values and give us completely different effects, different kinds of metal. You know, kind of a, a brassy kind of metal right in there. So you're not stuck with just the metal that I selected, kind of the, the brushed aluminum brush steel kind of a look. You can, if you want to, change that to different kinds of metal. Here's more of a, a coppery kind of a look just by adjusting your hue and your your saturation in here. So you can have all kinds of different effects, different kinds of metal, very, very easily just by making those small shifts, even keeping everything else the same. Just a slight shift here on your hue and saturation. Okay, so there we go. That again is how to create metallic looking text. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.